Welcome back to Tragic the Ornering. Today we've got part five of my four part series of my eBay buy where I got some awesome great stuff and actually unlocked the achievement of being able to open this box of Innistrad right now here on the channel. Got my sort of comedy and tragedy right here. This uh, box has already seen a little bit of wear and tear over the years so it's almost, it's, it's not open but it's been it's been roughed up a bit, so it's fine. That's what it is. I was uh, really looking forward to being able to open this, and uh, I was only going to be able to do it if I had achieved a certain amount of money back on the lot, and I did. So here we go. Let's open up this whole box of Innistrad right now. Awesome. So when I got back into Magic, uh, it was about uh, the time Dark Ascension was out. So there were still some Innistrad packs floating around. Um, but didn't know quite how awesome it was at the time. That is great. So I've never been able to open a whole box like this before. Got Garrick there. And that's cool. So we'll set him aside here. Um, we go through. I'm going to kind of take it easy and just have fun. Um, you can speed through this at two times if you want. It's up to you. Um, and then I'll scan it up all at the end and just see how I did. So hopefully uh, find some good stuff. Of course, we're looking for a lily, maybe a snappy. But for now, let's take a look. I won't. I'll go through the commons a little bit, and then we'll pick up the pace and after a bit. So just love the art. The ghoulish style of Innistrad is so fun to me. Um, I think at that time... Um, there were a lot of people getting either back into magic or into magic for the first time. So this is one of those time periods where it really um, had a nice big resurgence and it has hardly slowed down since. So some uncommons, a special rider, a tribute to hunger, a hollow hinge scavenger, and a dearly departed for the rare. Great. Put that there. Cool. So, ah, and a Delver of Secrets, right? So all the, all the flip cards are an extra. And that, of course, is the best common in the set right there so we'll put that there great here we go next pack what are you guys doing today great awesome all right uh dune traveler great little chumper there got all the crazy just horror zombies love love the art it really sucked me back into this game. I originally started playing probably about when Tempest was out, and uh, didn't, <laughs> I didn't really didn't get to know how to play the game properly. Endless Ranks of the Dead, awesome, love it. One of my favorite, uh, just artwork cards right there. I love the the callback from the Shadows Over Innistrad card, um, which I can't remember the name of. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Love that. Let's see, got a Thraven Sentry. Cool. All right. Ah, got a foil sever the bloodline. Not the best rare, but there is a full rare right there. Looks good. All right, so we'll put that there. Here we go. Let me pick up the pace a little bit more, right? You're here to see me pick all the good stuff, right? Oh, did I just open it backwards? All right, I've got to be careful about that. So I got a Terror of Crew and Pass, Crew and Outlaw, um, for my flip rare. So that's pretty decent. Let's go back. So does that mean we won't get a rare in the rare slot? Let's take a look. Slayer of the Wicked, more crit, Banshee, Galvanic, Juggernaut, and an Ophelia Drown Yard. Decent. Like look at the big look at the wrecked ship in the back. That's pretty cool. Alright, so you get an extra rare. It's just your flip card can either be uh, any any rarity apparently, so. Loving it. I've been looking forward to this. The Essentially, the cost basis for this box is zero. So I'm just having fun with it. Whatever I get out of here is bonus from my big eBay buy. So I'm taking my time. Come along on this journey with me. Bring your blazing torch. Let's brimstone volley it. Diagraph Ghoul. I always thought this was a great card. It's a 2-2 two -two for one. It enters the battlefield tapped, so there's your drawback. But it's uh, I think it's a solid beater. Ghost Quarter, that's a good one. So we'll end up picking that one. 
And a gutter grime is the rare. Nice, look at that zombie. Look at that zombie. And a village ironsmith flip werewolf. Guess it can technically go in the commons pile, sure. All right, gotta make sure to open the back of, nope. Doing this all wrong again already. Wait, you know, that's right. Back up, cut that part out. Hysterical blindness is the commons section here. Yeah, so I gotta open the back of the pack, right? Oh, it's got a foil sticking out there. Got a sharpened pitchfork, a boneyard worm, which everyone was hoping was gonna get downgraded to common for popper recently, but we get a witch, blade, witch bane orb for the rare and a handware watch keep planes and a foil planes yeah oh, that's nice like it love it is he gonna show up guess we'll find out oh gosh these packs are hard to open gosh all right what is going on here are they resealed Better not be. Seriously, what is going on? That is a tough pack to open. All right, I need to like pull it together here and not look like a chump. All right, Keswick Wolf. Let's go a little faster through the commons. And yep, got my piles out of whack again, like I always do. Geist Honored Monk, another card that I thought was great when I got back in and first saw it, but uh, it doesn't see much play. And as you saw in one of my previous videos, I am really bad at pile management. Make sure you go back and watch that one. See, that pack was a lot easier to open. What's up with that? All right, here. Vampires, hounds, spirits, love it. Just love the whole Innistrad setting. Tangible Virtue, Kessig Wolf Run, another good card. There we go, and oh, a Screeching Bat. Got a Flip Vampire. I thought that was pretty fun. Okay. What else? Haven't seen any Mythics yet. Not sure, oops. Well, there's a Werewolf on the back of that. Not sure what the other great Mythics out of Innistrad are. Other than Lily. Oh, that's a great rare right there. You can't do any better than that for a rare out of Innistrad. Snapcaster Mage. Our favorite Flash Wizard. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I was hoping to see one of him. And a Reckless Waif. Cool. All right, so we are on our way. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Commons first. Here we go. Invisible Stalker, another great uncommon. I'll be pulling that. And a Creepy Doll. This is your rare there. So I put my Snappy over here just because he's such a big hit. We'll put him right there. And the Tormented Pariah. Cool. Fun times. Another, another tough pack. Hold on. There we go. Let's get this going here. The Frightful Delusion right in the eyes it's coming for you grimace grudge departure devils dissipate respiration blade make a wish and a blood gift demon yeah this one's okay too and a thraven century okay next pack I love that. That is just too cool. Into the Maw of Hell. A Lumber Knot. A Paraceline. And a Cackling Counterpart. I think this one, when it was in standard, was pretty usable. It was up a few bucks, but now I don't think so. Curse of Oblivion. 
Victim of night, man, that's gruesome. Love it. For a plunge. It's ghoul again. Abattoir ghoul. Ramble crush. Essence of the wild. So, first mythic. It's nothing special. Actually, at first glance, as in uh, basically a newbie, when I first saw this card, was like, wow, you can make a whole deck around that. Well, not really. But that's all right. Keep them here. Where should we put them? Right there. Why not? Okay. And, and another Delver. We'll pull that too. Great. Really don't want to race through this too fast, so sorry if uh, this is too slow for you. I don't care. Doom Traveler. Dream Twist. I, I'll go a little faster, fine. A lot of people have seen these commons. Not everybody. Rage Thrower, Abattoir Ghoul. Got a multicolor, Evil Twin. Cool. A little Shapeshifter. And a Cloistered Youth. I just clipped my fingernails so that they wouldn't look terrible on camera. So, but now I can't open these packs easy. So, catch twenty-two, right? Make sure we're still in focus. Hey, Falcon Wrath Noble, cool. It's like a really expensive Blood Artist and a Heartless Summoning. I always thought this card was cool too. Just lo I love zombies. Who doesn't love zombies? Come on, Instigator Gang. Flip werewolf, werewolf. Pretty common, honestly, since it's in kind of a lot of these packs. So it's a common rare. Fact check me on that because I'm not sure if that actually is the case. Do you get those cards? Are they essentially more common since they're pushing them into more packs? Which would is essentially what's going to happen with War of the Spark with every pack having a planeswalker in it, right? So. I'm interested to know what the breakdown is on essentially pushing extra cards into packs like that. Whoops. Come on, Wolfie boy, get back on the on the stack. Pack on the stack. Uh, okay, Curiosity, Spider Spawning, Rally the Peasants, and an Isolated Chapel. Love these. White, black, check land. Perfect. Uh, let's see here. Next pack, about halfway through already. Yep. We can probably go a little faster with these commons still. I like them. Bitter Heart, Fiend Hunter, Murder of Crows, and a Sturmgeist. Nothing too crazy there. Got a Zamb Zamboni. Just one Mythic so far. Probably due for another soon. Ghost Quarter, that's a pick. Devil's Play is just okay. Oh, this Wolf Token actually, that's one of the better tokens. So I'm gonna pull that and put it right there. I'm gonna scan these all at the end and we'll see how I did on my box. I figured this box was, after fees and shipping, I probably could have gotten about 350 bucks for it. So I'm probably not gonna make that back but I'm having fun, and isn't that all what it's all about? Sometimes, maybe, anyone. Graveyard Shovel, and a Hinterland Harbor. More check lands. One of my f favorite check lands, actually. Uh, oops, yeah, I'm going to make another pile here. Let's put those down so they don't just fly all over the place. Here we go. The gruesome deformity. Just horrifying, all this stuff. Whoops. Halberk. Disciple of Gristlebrand. Graveyard Shovel. And another... Uh, did we get a Charmbreaker's Devils already? No, we got a Devil's Play. Charmbreaker Devils. Which, uh... Is... It's, it's cool. I like it. Can't use it, but... It's fun. Uh, let's see my uncommons go here. Does it matter? No, it does not. Next pack. 
don't know. What's up with these packs? I guess they've been sitting around for six or seven years now or more. When did this come out? 2011. Yeah, it's been eight years. So uh, I guess the packs could be a little sticky after all that time. Curse of the Nightly Hunt, Wreath of Geists, Full Moon's Rise, and Gavany Township. Yeah, that's a good land. Pump up all your uh, Selesnia creatures. That's perfect. Take it. Oops. All right, all right, all right. I gotta fix my pile here. And we got a foil Daybreak Ranger. Cool. Flip Werewolf. Next pack. Okay. Quickly, quickly. Cool razor. Unburial um, rights was big in standard. And Astensia Blood Hall. Okay. Uh, I think this is another good token actually. I'm gonna pull that one. And these packs are easier than others. Oop, oh, I think I bent the last card. I hope it wasn't anything good. Uh, let's see here. I'm clumsy if you can't tell. Ah, I like this one, the Manor Skeleton. I know it's it's nothing, but just look, the art. It's just so good. Into the Maw of Hell. And another Cackling Counterpart, so that's two of those. Let's not get too many duplicates. I'll take another Snapcaster Mage, that'd be great. Do for a mythic. Let's see it. Mona the Unhallowed. Parallel Lives. Okay. The next best rare, I think, in the set right there. That's good. And a Rally of the Peasants. Cool. All right. Still need more than this one mythic for this box. Yeah, these aren't, they're not glued or nothing like that. So don't get excited. They're just hard to open. I'm clumsy. It's just that's what it is. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Undead alchemist. Mm, okay. Okay. And a Stromkirk patrol. All right. There's your foil. Getting down to it. Whoops, drop that one. Liliana of the Veil, yeah! Oh my gosh. Well, I'm really happy I opened this box now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, well, I hit the trifecta right there. Oh my gosh, that's great yeah okay there it is Innistrad great box got a few left here what else cha-ching invisible stalker we'll take that and a creeping renaissance nothing too Crazy there. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. I got the best stuff that you'd want out of here. What else? There we go. Viper, Evil, Heron, Departure, Flail, Haunting, Gals Warden, and a Mirror Mad Phantasm. So there's another Mythic. Um, this, one's pretty, this one's okay. There's nothing too out there, but... But it's good. All right. Ridge Wolf. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get going here. I don't know. Cellar door. We got a foil. Got a Falcon Wrath Marauders. 
and a civilized scholar and a rebuke. I rebuke you. That in the full spot. That's an uncommon. Oh yeah, this one's fine. You got the civilized scholar and you got the homicidal brute right there. Jekyll and Hyde. It's fun. Fun times. Oops. Dagger and a blasphemous act. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Do 13 damage to each creature. That's solid. We'll put that here. Pariah. Down to the last few here. Got about six packs after this one. I don't know how long this is taking. It's taking a while. I'm having fun. Whoops. <laughs> Orchard Spirit can go here. Phantoms. Paraseline again. And a Mold Graph Monstrosity. Not a big one. Screeching Bat. It's a Flip Vampire again. Cool. cool. Alright, here we go. Okay. What else are we going to get here? Champion of the Parish. Another good card. That's great. That's a good one. We'll put that here. Daybreak Ranger again for your flip. And then you got a Foil Stitcher's Apprentice. That's cool. Uh, the Ranger there. Okay. Let's finish this up. Let's finish it up in style with another Mythic. I don't know what else is really that get out of here like a grim grin maybe manor gargoyle bloodline keeper hey this is actually a pretty good card that's uh that's decent i'm not sure how much it is right now but i think it's a little better than a bulk focus here angelic overseer okay yeah another one i thought was really good when i first saw it when it was in standard it's good it's okay gallows warden as a foil all right three more packs left in this box what else could there be i wonder a nice nice big foil would be great I don't know if we're going to get it though. Runic Repetition. Hamlet Captain. More Crute. Banshee. And a Back from the Brink. Okay. Nothing big there. Last one. Oh yeah, Olivia is in this set too. Huh? Oh, come on. Journey, Captain, Unhollowed, and a Scourge Dag High Priest. And it looks like I got another Delver in the back there. Cool. Last pack. Got Olivia on there. Is she in there? Let's see. Can I even get it open? Right. Okay. Last pack, and then we'll scan these up. The Feeling of Dread. Spectral Rider. Into the Maw of Hell. What is it? Murder of Crows. And a Mo Moreland Haunt. Okay. And a Ludwig's Test Subject. Cool. Whoops. It turns into Ludwig's Abomination. Which is cool. Alright. So, hey. Not too bad at all. For just having some fun. So, anyway. I will uh, scan this up and be right back.
Okay, I took out everything that was under 70 cents for this batch. Normally I do 90, but what the heck. Well, let's check out my mythics and my last good things here. So we got an angelic overseer, buck 71. Mirror mad phantasm. 55 cents, doesn't make the pile. It's gonna go over there. Essence of the wild, same story. Bulk mythic. All right, champion of the parish should be pretty good. Get the scan there. Yeah, three bucks there. Got a blasphemous act. Three bucks there. And then the good stuff. Got a parallel lives. Fourteen dollars there. Got a snapcaster mage. Fifty-eight for a snapcaster. And a Liliana of the Veil, original Innistrad, Planeswalker, 72 for TCG market value. Ended up 211 bucks. definitely not near what I probably could have sold that box for, but then I didn't get to have fun if I sold it right, so here I am. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me, and uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the other box opening where I found this in the first place. And made my goal to be able to open this um, I had a lot of fun hopefully you liked it too um, check me next time when I open my second stretch goal which was a box of modern masters 2013 and then after that I'll do a box of iconic masters from that same batch because I can thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe and comment see you later